Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Luke Shaw has signed a new contract with Manchester United. So he's now under contract with the club until June 2027. Luke Shaw's previous deal was set, was set to expire in 2024. Towards the end of last year, Man United extended Luke Shaw's contract by one year. Luke Shaw has been at the club for almost a decade. He's made over 200 appearances for Manchester United. Man United got Luke Shaw from Southampton back in 2014, got him in a deal worth £31 million. Luke Shaw is still Man United's first choice left back despite the arrival of Terrell Malaysia. Uh, my only element of concern about Luke Shaw is injury prone. Now, Eric Tenag is losing patience with Jaden Sancho and he's happy to sell six players. Ten Hag is preparing a summer clear-out. In the summer, I'm expecting Ten Hag to get rid of Brandon Williams. Brandon Williams don't get in the team. Um, at one point, he had some injuries. Was it last season he was out on loan with Norwich? Uh, Ten Hag, I'm also expecting him to get rid of Alex Tellez permanently. He's out on loan with Sevilla at the moment. Uh, Donny van der Beek, I think we'll leave in the summer. He doesn't play, he's a squad player. Van der Beek can't play for the remainder of the season anyway because he's out with an knee injury. Last season, van der Beek had a loan spell with Everton. Man United got Donny van der Beek from Ajax in a deal worth £40 million, with add-ons included. Harry Maguire... I think he will leave in the summer. Said earlier on the season that Harry Maguire had been put up for sale. Man United's coaching staff have concerns about Harry Maguire's defending. Plus Maguire, he's not one of our first choice centre-halves. He hasn't been first choice since the arrival of Martinez. Um, I've been hearing Leicester want Harry Maguire on loan. Maguire's already been at Leicester once. Uh, Harry Maguire could leave Man United next season. Revert back to last season, the vast majority of Man United fans were demanding for the captaincy to be taken off Maguire. We overpaid for Maguire, got him for £80 million from Leicester. When Harry Maguire officially signed for the club, he signed a six-year contract. I'm expecting Ten Hag to get rid of Dean Henderson permanently. He's out on loan with Forrest at the moment. I'm hearing Tottenham want Dean Henderson. I'm expecting Ten Hag to get rid of Tom Eaton in the summer. Uh, Tom Eaton's like our third choice keeper with obviously Man United getting Butland in on loan. But at the time we brought Tom Eaton in, we brought him in as a backup to De Gea. And Man United got Tom Eaton on a free transfer from Villa. Uh, Phil Jones will also go, he don't get in the team, you know, Phil Jones has been a long-serving player at the club, he's been with us since the Ferguson era. Jones has enjoyed around 12 years at Manchester United, Man United did get him from Blackburn. Lindelof, I think, could leave in the summer. Um, at one point, Ten Hag blocked him from going out on loan. Uh, the other week, two or sport newspaper said that Lindelof's been offered to Inter Milan, Inter Milan and looking for a replacement for Milan Skriniar. Uh, Lindelof has like 15 months left on his Man United contract. Um, he's played around 16 games this season. Lindelof's not our first choice centre half. He hasn't been first choice since the arrival of Varane. Man United got Lindelof from Benfica back in 2017 in a deal worth £31 million. I think Ten Hag could get rid of Anwan Bissaka in the summer. 
there again, Bissaka may stay. How man Bissaka's actually started a lot of games this season because we've heard back to early on in the season, Delo had a couple of injuries. Plus, since the World Cup, Delo struggled. So, in a lot of games, Ten Hag's preferred Bissaka ahead of Delo. I heard Bissaka could make a return to Crystal Palace earlier on in the season. Man United got Anwan Bissaka in a deal worth fifty million back in twenty nineteen, and we got him from Palace. Um, the law of course started against Newcastle. Um, obviously Bissaka missed that game uh, due to illness. I'm expecting McTominay to leave in the summer. You know, he actually started alongside Sabitza in the 2-0 defeat to Newcastle. But Tominay, I don't think he's consistent enough. He's still young, maybe needs time. He's not one of our first-choice centre midfielders, though, following the arrivals of Casemiro and Christian Eriksen. Man United are willing to listen to offers for McTominay. As you all know, Anthony Martial should leave in the summer if Manchester United get a striker in. He said earlier on in the season that Martial had been put up for sale. He hadn't played that many games this season because he's been hampered with injuries. Um, he's now fit. Um, he could be starting against Brentford tonight. And Weghorst, um, I'm expecting him to leave in the summer. Uh, Man United are not expected to get him on a permanent deal. Uh, we do have Weghorst on loan until the end of the season. Uh, De Gea, you know, his future is uncertain at the moment. Uh, De Gea recently rejected a contract offer. Um, it's believed Man United offered him less than the £375,000 a week he's on. And he said he must accept a pay cut for him to remain at the club. And Elanga's another one who I think will leave in the summer because he's lost his place in the team since Ganacho risen up the ranks and got into the senior squad. Um, revert back towards the end of January, Elanga received 10 offers. But, you know, Eric Ten Hag has got rid of a lot of players since he became Man United manager. You know, he loaned to Anzebi out. I'm um, hearing to Anzebe will leave permanently. Like I said, he loaned Alex Tellez out to Sevilla. He loaned Bay out to Marseille. Um, he'll go as well permanently in the summer. He loaned Dean Henderson out to Nottingham Forest. Let Lee Grant leave. Let Lingard leave on a free. He went to Nottingham Forest. Uh, Ronaldo got sacked last year. He's obviously in Saudi Arabia playing for Al Nassar. Cavani and Matt are left on free transfers. Ethan Laird went out on loan. Hannah Balmijbrow went out on loan. Ahmad Diallo Traore went out on loan. Sholo Shortai went out on loan. Charlie Savage went out on loan. Dishan Bernard went out on loan. Tenag sold James Garner. He sold Andres Pereira. He let Pogba and Matic leave on free transfers. So there are a lot of the players that Eric Tenag has got rid of. Uh, Tenag has course has brought players to the club you know revert back to January brought Weghorst in on loan he brought Butland in on loan and he brought Sabitzer in on loan unfortunately didn't make a permanent signing in January revert back to last summer though he brought the likes of Terrell Malaysia in Casemiro Christine Eriksen Martinez Antin Dubrovka Eric Tenag has spent over 200 million so far as Manchester United manager and, you know, in the summer, you know, Ten Hag will be looking to make more signings, looking to bring a striker in and looking to bring a midfielder in. But as you all know, Manchester United do play Brentford tonight at Old Trafford. It will be a difficult game. Brentford are in form. Uh, don't forget... Brentford thrashed Manchester United earlier on the season 4-0. That was a setback for Man United, but we recovered from that well, then went on a very good run of form. But we've had a few setbacks this season. Man United won the fixture against Brentford at Old Trafford last season 3-0. But Manchester United 
are coming into this game on the back of a 2-0 loss to Newcastle at St James's Park. You know, Man United have got to bounce back. You know, Man United are winless in the last three league games and have not scored one goal in the last three league games. So, like I said earlier on, Martial could be starting tonight. Ericsson, this game's come too soon for him. He's still out of an ankle injury. Van der Beek's out for the rest of the season. Casemiro, of course, isn't available because he's still suspended. He's a big miss, Casemiro, because as you all know, he makes a difference in that midfield. As midfield looks poor when he's not in it. Yeah, we've obviously got Ganacho that's injured. He came off injured in the 0-0 draw with Southampton. So they're the players we've got missing. Um, as for Brentford, they drew their last game with Brighton, 3-3. Last season was Brentford's first season in the Premier League. Um, at one point, they were out of the top flight for 70-odd years. Brentford's manager is Thomas Frank. Got to give him credit. He's doing a good job as Brentford manager. He's been the Brentford manager for over four years. He got appointed in as the Brentford manager back in October 2018. Before Brentford, Thomas Frank was a Brentford assistant. And before managed Bromby, managed Denmark's under 17s and under 19s. You know, the players Brentford have got, you know, they've got the likes of Brian and Bumo, Nathan Young Coombs, Mikhail Damsgaard, Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony is probably one of the best players Brentford have got. Man United have been tentatively linked with him, don't forget. They have Keane Lewis Potter, who's injured. Brentford got him from Hull. Shandon Baptiste, Matthias Jensen, Christian Norgaard, Frank Onyeka, Joshua De Silva, Pontus Janssen, don't forget he's a former League United player, Finn Stevens, Rico Henry, Ethan Pinnock. Uh, the goalkeepers Brentford have got, they've got Thomas Sh Shrakashia, is it? And David Ryer and Man United have been linked to him. So they're a lot of the players Brentford have got. They've lost players as well. Uh, didn't they lose that Charlie Good? They loaned Sergi Canos out to Olympiacos. They lost Dolly Watkins. They lost Ben Rama. So there you go. But like I said, I am expecting Manchester United to win this game. To be honest, we've been very good at home this season. So anyway, guys, that's everything to update. We've dropped your comments, likes, on the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always and take care. God bless.